Hello, welcome to the video for what is volume, the light mass character indirect detail volume. I know that's a bit of a mouthful, but let's go ahead and cover what this does. Let me run this example and I will point out a few of the issues we have when we're using light mass and static lighting. If I was to jump off this platform, you'll first of all you notice there's a green light at the bottom and then two red ones on the way down. Think of this as maybe an elevator shaft and those are red emergency lights. When I fall down, the character when it's on the bottom has a green lighting. It is indirect lighting from the static light that is baked into the map. However, you'll notice when I jump down itself, there will be no red lighting, like there's red lighting below me on this platform. But there's no red lighting on the character itself, and then when I fall down the shaft, you'll notice there's no red lighting on the character either. So that is an issue with the way that the light mass importance volumes work. You'll notice these light mass important nodes, which indicate which colors are going to be used for indirect lighting, they only apply down here, even though my volume itself encompasses the whole thing. Well, the way it works is with light mass, it is only going to build the lights when you're using the light mass importance volume. It's going to do these indirect probes only at player height level. It figures if it's something above you, you're not going to get up there. Therefore, there's no reason to have indirect lighting. Indirect lighting, or for example, this would be like, oh, I can't remember the exact name, maybe light probes from Unity. But basically, it's what gives static lights the appearance of having an actual emissive light, as you can see here. There is no actual light in this scene. This, this light has been turned into static baked lighting, so it's not going to show up. That's why when I fall down these two, this area here, you don't actually see light on the player. It's because the lighting is built, baked in, and these lights aren't really doing anything once I'm in the game. These probes here that you see on these little squares... That is what is actually lighting my character when I'm in the scene. That's why you'll see it's green, and there's slight red over here. And that's because if you look at the light probe, it's getting a little bit of red from here. And that just basically is what determines your, your reflective lighting, your indirect lighting on your movable objects, not your static objects in the scene. So, what if, for example, we had this issue and we want it fixed? Because this is a, uh, uh this is, like I said, it is a, um, Elevator chef, the player is going to fall down at a certain point. And because the light volume doesn't encompass any actual walkable player area, it's a shaft that the player falls down, our light mass volume is going to ignore it. Well, that is what the light mass character indirect detail volume volume is for. Let me go ahead and drag this over back here. And you'll notice I'm encompassing our entire light mass importance volume. So basically, I have the light mass importance volume which tells my scene where my lights are at and what's important. And then I have my indirect detail volume around it, so that way I'm telling the engine itself that I want all of this area set up for indirect lighting. So if I go and build this, we give it a second, or two, or three, you're going to find that our display itself is going to change radically. You see down there, we only have a small portion at player height. Once it's done building, the entire volume is going to be filled with indirect lighting. You'll now notice we have red dots at the top to indicate there is indirect lighting at the top. We go ahead and run this. We move our character towards the edge. You'll notice he starts to light up from the indirect lighting, and he's starting to reflect red. If we were to jump down, you'll notice he has the red on him until he gets to the bottom. Now if I can make this jump here, which takes me a few times oh, without going over. <laughs> Oh, I don't think I'm going to make it this time. But anyways, if I was to make it to the top up there, there we go. You can actually see that it's showing the lighting from the light probe below me, like you would expect if there was an emergency light or some actual mesh with a light from it right there. So that is the light mass character indirect detail volume. And it's intended for you to fill out your scene where the normal light mass importance volume does not give you the indirect lighting that you're looking for. Remember, indirect lighting is the lighting that will shine onto movable objects when they are passing by. And 
usually it's not an issue because your player is going to be defined by where they can walk. If, for example, we were to take our importance volume away and we were going to rebuild, you'll notice like before, we're going to go ahead and we're going to lose everything on the top for our red colors, but we're going to keep our green on the bottom because that's where our navigation is and where our player is expected to be able to walk due to height. If we were to move our platform down itself, maybe move it a little bit and rebuild, you'll now notice this platform is inside of our importance volume. Even though it is far away from our bottom portion, it is still inside. And if we were to rebuild, what you're going to find is the light mass importance volume is going to find a ledge inside of the volume that the player should have access to once it finishes. And you're going to see light mass importance indirect lighting hooked up right here. So if we were to actually run, move our character back down and run it, you'll notice they have the red glow like they're supposed to as part of the reflection from that light. Because the light mass importance volume has determined we should be able to get up here because it's inside of our volume and it's within a player height. And so it goes ahead and it builds the indirect lighting right there automatically for us. But for those issues where it doesn't build automatically, just encompass it with a light mass character indirect detail volume and you will solve your problem. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.